I'm going to do a super short video on the importance of checking your grommets or ceiling washers as Mercedes call them. Now this is the inner part of the wing that we've just repaired on the or replaced on the silver car and in there there are four ceiling grommets or at least they should be and what happens over time is that they begin to crack and perish and they lose all their um, rubber properties and what happens when that starts to happen is you can potentially start to get moisture inside here and inside this panel here and I want to show you an example on the new project car that we're just about to start. Now this is a 1975 280SL that we're about to start reassembling and before we bought this car somebody has obviously spent an enormous amount of money on bodywork and panels. I mean you can see that all these are new panels here and these panels you can pay hundreds if not thousands of pounds for these panels let alone the work associated with putting them in. But what I want to show you is a small oversight on their part in not replacing these grommets because if you zoom in and you look through those holes you see the brown behind there that means the inner wheel arch section that we've just replaced on that silver car is already starting to rust and there's two reasons for that is one because they probably never uh, treated the inside of it properly and two because they haven't put these grommets back in and if you're in a country with any kind of moisture Moisture is going to get inside there and it's going to start rusting those panels from the inside the that these panels are going to rust is because where they are spot welded some of the primer or e-coat will be burnt away during that process and that is generally where the rust starts and that's one of the reasons why when we put our panel in we use the 3M panel bond to avoid burning off the primer. The panel bond gives a completely watertight metal to metal seal. This is the inner wheel arch repair section that came off the silver car and you can see exactly what happens over time. Moisture gets in here and starts to rust from the inside out. Also you'll have moisture trapped on the top here and you can see this car's actually been patched previously but what happens is when people put these panels on they often just leave the e-coat on and the e-coat looks great but it won't protect from rust. So you need to actually treat that properly, just like we've done with the silver car. And you can avoid these kind of problems just by replacing these grommets, checking them, making sure that they're not cracked like this and making sure that they're still rubbery. So these grommets, the cheapest place to get them is actually from Mercedes and the part number is 0 0097-4944. So if you've got an old Mercedes, one of the things you can go and do right now is just go and check that you've actually got the grommets all in place and secondly that they're still rubbery and possibly even shine a torch down here and just check that your inside of your panel is not going rusty. Simple preventative measure you can take is get yourself some Eastwood internal frame coating. I'm sure other companies do it as well, but this aerosol comes with a long tube that once you remove these grommets, you'll be able to feed the tube down there and you'll be able to coat the inside of this panel, which you don't really have access to other than through these inspection holes with um, frame coat. And that will protect it if it's not already rusting and slow down the process if it is rusting. There are four of these blanking washers in this section and there's two in the support strut underneath the inner silver 107 SL. It's the part number there and there's nine of those grommets along the inner sill as well. This bit's actually normally hidden under a piece of carpet but um, and there's not normally a problem with those apart from they've lost all their elasticity but if you ever want to inspect the inner sill for rust etc you can just take these grommets out and shine a torch down there. So this is a, um, the next project that we're starting, being painted, a lot of panel work being done but most people who do body work and panel work will not be thinking about replacing missing grommets. They might even not even know that there's supposed to be grommets there. So if you have a look at this car here, a good example underneath, you know, supposedly looks quite nice. You can see instantly that that drain hole has just been sealed up and blocked. And I can tell by tapping that that that's not original. It's not the right thickness of steel, but you can see up here, can you see that? Yeah, that there should be a grommet in there. 
and what will happen is it water will just kick up into there that'll fill with water and rust from the inside out if you leave it like that now, if i'm not very much mistaken the um headlights on these sl there's basically two types there's those with vacuum adjust for the beam and the older ones didn't have that but this wing here has the um, hole for the vacuum adjust lines but I don't believe the lights are actually vacuum adjust lights so once again that there would require a blanking grommet otherwise you would just get a whole load of water kicked into there and that will rust away just as it's done on the silver the front wing off in 1976 SL once again you can see there is a blanking grommet missing there and all that happens is you get a lot of moisture coming in here and rusting away the inside of this bowl. These grommets here often wear out as well. You can see that this grommet is not doing anything. It should be held tight in there. This one's fine on this side, but this one's not doing anything. So we're going to be replacing that because there's a massive great big gap there. And this is exactly where the wheel is kicking up lots of water etc so if you've got grommets looking like that that just basically fall out you need to replace them these tapered grommets here cheapest place to get them from is mercedes part number 001-997-1481 they cost £2.85 plus VAT each we bought four of them for £12.31 to change this grommet here you're going to have to take this plug at the end off here and this top bit clips up so you get a screwdriver under there and this whole top section comes off like this held on by clips you're gonna to have to take these two connections out here now do not mix them up okay the brown connection is on the left hand side with this little plastic spike at the top so with the plastic spike closest to your face the brown connection is on the left hand side these two connections will just or should just pull out like that once you've got that plastic off you should be able to slip the grommet over the end you come to put these wires back through the grommet it's incredibly easy to do it the wrong way wrong way around the grommet's going to be tapered side is going to be inside the car which basically means these wires are going to go into the hole first do them one at a time and push them through don't be tempted to pull them through otherwise you'll pull the wire out and end up having to resolder it. it's on now and you can see that that's going to fit through the hole the right way up you just have to twist these wires back together and make sure we put the plug put them back in the plug the way they came out put those wires in this bit should just clip on top the last but not least grommet is this little baby here which fits in the boot well underneath the spare tire and often this is missing perished or no longer retains its elasticity and you get a whole load of water kicked up under the car and we're just going to replace this on this car here you can see on this car that this grommet is doing absolutely nothing completely perished so one thing i've been meaning to do for a long time is replace it with a brand new rubbery fresh grommet there we go if you don't do that you get a whole load of water getting kicked up in here and you start to get corrosion just like we're seeing a little bit of here part number for that boot well grommet is 107 997 2781 if you want a complete list of grommets mbtilecatalog.info is the site to visit and um, once you're there just click on the english version this is the American flag up here. And then just click on close that ad or schließen as they say in German. And then you wanna be clicking on car. And then the model, we're talking about 280 SL, but this would be the same if it was a 380, 450, you just click on the number you want. 280 SL, and then select the model. In our particular case, it's a 280, 107 where are we here we go 107 and the grommets are hidden in a section called body shell there you go and if you click on that there you'll see a complete list of grommets um and if you click on the actual numbers it down below it will take you to the part number for each one in my experience, by all means, check eBay and Amazon for these things. But in my experience, the cheapest place to get these kind of things is directly from Mercedes.
Don't ask me why, but some of these grommets don't have part numbers. 26, I think, is the one that appears all over the car. There's about 50 to 100 on the car, and it's the first one mentioned in this video, so we've given you the part number in the video. But if you scroll down, you'll see that 26 does not exist in this section here, but we've managed to track down the part number and given to you in the beginning of the video. Um, here you can see things like the boot grommet, um, and there are other various other grommets that we've just You'll see in the next video, these ones here just are blanking off grommets and then the tapered grommets that you've um, that we've just put in for wires, etc. is this one here.